Hi, I'm Damien with QA1. Today we're going to be putting one of our Mopar K members in the 69 Dodge Coronet. QA1 K members for Mopars are designed to increase the strength on the front end of the car. The B and E body K members come with big block engine mounts, while the A body K members come with mounts for small blocks. Here we've got QA1 upper control arms, shocks, lower control arms, and dynamic strut bars, all on the factory K member. Here we've got the factory stamped steel K member. As you can see on this one, there's no provisions for a sway bar. The QA1 K member does have provisions for a factory E-body sway bar. The first thing that you wanna check before making changes to any car, check your tie rod ends, ball joints, idler arm, make sure all that stuff's in good condition. These have already been replaced, they're in good shape. We're gonna go ahead, loosen up the torsion bar adjusters. We wanna make sure we count the number of turns that it takes to loosen the tension on the torsion bar. That's gonna help with getting the car set back to ride height. Now that we've got the tension off the torsion bar adjuster, there's a snap ring on the back side of the torsion bar on the cross member that you wanna remove. That should allow the torsion bar to come out. Now we've got the snap ring out of the torsion bar cross member and the torsion bar is still stuck in there. So we're gonna loosen up the pivot shaft and the strut rod. That should take a little tension off and help get the torsion bar out. Now that we've got the tension off the torsion bar, we wanna remove the lower shock mount, separate the lower ball joint. Now we've got the lower shock mount unbolted, we've got the ball joint separated. We're gonna go ahead and remove the torsion bar and we should be able to remove the lower control arm. Now we've got the lower control arms off, we want to remove the strut rods, those will have to be transferred to the new K-member. We also need to remove the idler arm and steering box. Steering box and idler arm can all stay attached to the car, we just need to remove them from the K-member. Now we've got everything disconnected under the car, we went ahead and lowered the car down so we can get our engine hoist in here support the engine with a chain, and we've actually used a couple large zip ties to secure the steering box to the driver's side header tube. Now we wanna remove the four bolts holding the factory K-member in, remove the factory K-member, and we can install the QA1 K-member. Here we've got the factory K-member out of the car, stamped steel piece. As you can see, it's fairly thick here in the center. QA1 tubular K-member, gonna give you a little more header clearance and oil pan clearance integral tie-down hooks on the K-member, as well as mounts for the B and E body sway bar. Factory K-member here, we just put it on the scale, 41 pounds. QA1 K-member, we're looking at 37, so that's four pound weight reduction on your front end. We're gonna go ahead and get the QA1 K-member put back in, get the car put back together. Now we've got our K-member installed, we've got the control arms put back on, strut rods, shocks hooked up. Basically all we gotta do now, get the car aligned and it's ready to drive. For more information, check us out at qa1.net or visit us on Facebook.